Deeper Perspective, Photographer of the Year. And the finalists are K.M. Assad, Bangladesh. 1,127 people died and 2,500 souls were saved from Rana Plaza rubble. Garments worker are the least playing worker in Bangladesh. And this kind of tragedy with them is certainly not acceptable. Garment sector is the important, important part of our economy. The Shabbat tragedy moved all of us. This project, I try to bring out the disastrous situation, the pain of those family members who lost their earning member in this tragedy. Tim Jared Barker, Australia. The Asiatic black bear is endangered due to beliefs that its body parts and bile are effective for medicinal purposes. It has been illegal to possess or sell bear bile products in Vietnam since 2005, but the rules are rarely enforced. Bear bile farming is illegal, but it is legal to keep bears in cages as pets. In some Hanoi restaurants, shots of bile mixed with vulgar can be found on the menu, as can rice wine infused with the entire body of a bear. Mary F. Calvert, USA. Women who join the U.S. Armed Forces are being raped and sexually assaulted by their colleagues in record numbers. An estimated 26,000 rapes and sexual assaults took place last year, and only about 5,000 troops reported their attacks. Many fear retaliation, demotion, or being kicked out of the military because they have seen it happen to others. Most military rape survivors are still seeking justice, and all of them struggle to live with the lifelong challenges of military sexual trauma that include depression, substance abuse, paranoia, and feelings of isolation. Stacy Kranitz, USA. This year marks the 50th anniversary of the War on Poverty. Millions of government dollars were doled out to initiatives intending to solve the problems of the poor and turn America into the great society it was meant to be. My photographs ask whom do images of poverty serve? Is it possible that the notion of poverty is one that is relied upon by corporate industry to divide our nation into regions of others? Sarah Borst, USA. Through documenting Diana on 410 East Gaston Street, I was invited into the Victorian home of a Savannah performer and socialite, photographing over glasses of jalapeno martinis and low country gossip. What I have found the most intriguing about my dear friend's life is her home, lovingly littered with vintage dresses, fur coats, feathered hats, and the auras of past opulent cocktail parties. In Savannah, the everyday is truly exotic. Adrian Mirgos, Poland. Woodstock always had followers and opponents. I wanted to show skeptics that even though hundreds of thousands of people are having fun in one place, you can still be sure about your safety. At first, it was supposed to be a one-time project in 2010, but over the next few months, I decided that it will be a several year project, which will end in 2015. Every year I try to create a separate photo series, so that on one hand all of them can be summarized in one series, and on the other each individual series will show something else. Yulia Zakharova, IPA Russia White silence is the result of self-irony and my mockery of my boundless romanticism. I had to spend a year alone while my fiancé was serving in the Navy. Separation became an ordeal which stretched it indefinitely. This project is a result of my reflection. Wang Qing, IPA China. Beijing Scrub Village, Dongxiaokou Village, the northern outskirts of Beijing, is a destination of most recyclable scrubs from the city. It is also home for more than 700 families sorting and preparing their scrubs for their second lives. When darkness descends, tricycles and trucks run to the village loaded with all kinds of scrubs.